All right, G'day Legends. I just thought I'd do a very quick little sprinting tips video um, just to outline a few things. Just a bit of a time lapse here into the final two kilometers of the bike race uh, coming up the back of the course at Sandown. And uh, let's see who takes it out. So we're coming up the back of the course now. This is the uh, B grade uh, criterium out at Sandown. You can see here, I'm on the far left hand side of the bunch. Another good spot to be would be on the far right hand side of the bunch. And obviously coming into the last few hundred meters of the race, you wanna be relatively close to the front. Now that's gonna to totally depend on whether it's a headwind sprint or a tailwind sprint. If it was a tailwind sprint, I'd be first, second, third, fourth wheel, okay? If it's a headwind sprint, it's okay to be a little bit further back. And you can see I'm letting a few guys through and not reacting too much because it's okay to have 10 riders in front of me coming into a headwind final turn. So we're coming down the back of the course here. Uh, there's actually four riders or five riders up the road already. They're in a breakaway. So we're sprinting for sixth place. Now, a lot of people wouldn't even bother sprinting, but I think this you're paying 20 bucks for the race. You may as well sprint and really just practice your sprint. You can see number five here pushes the junior in front of him. He just lets him in so that he gets through the turn nicely. That is proper etiquette right there. So massive kudos to this guy in front of me. It was just really nice for him to look out for the junior there. So we're coming into the final two turns. We're not exactly going really fast, but it is, a, it, as I said, it is a headwind. And I'm quite happy with my position here, but I knew that we were going pretty slow and that people were gonna swamp us on either side coming into these final two turns, which they did. You can see a lot of people sort of trying to squeeze through, get forward. But the main thing here is to not get caught in the middle of that little bunch there when everyone goes to sprint. You can see I'm still on the outskirts there. I'm just following this guy's wheel in front of me. We're moving forward now because the sprint is going to start pretty soon. But I'll just go back a bit. I'm just going to go back a bit from this corner and I'm going to show you something. Now the guy there, number 24, uh, he is in, in the unfortunate situation where people are coming down the outside of him and so he suddenly found himself caught in the middle and it's going to be very difficult for him to sprint from that position. But you'll see in a second, but I couldn't quite get the shelter that I need coming into this final sprint and I've suddenly find myself out in the wind. So watch this. So you can see I can't move over onto his wheel because that that guy in the blue jersey was there so i'm suddenly caught out in the wind like this and that's not good because i'm sort of pushing you know i'm at 177 beats a minute 49k an hour i'm at a thousand watts pushing into a headwind through this bit one of the guys jumps on the front i get on the wheel of this guy in the black and yellow but now i know that i haven't really got far to the finish so it's time to step around right now you'll see here that i'll step off his wheel so i'm using him as a bit of a launch pad to slingshot myself past him and then I want you to notice what I do with the guy with the black shorts here and the green top in front of me. Do I keep going to sprint past him? No, I know that it's a headwind, right? So, so what I've actually done here is I've looked over my left shoulder to make sure that I'm not gonna chop the guy there on the left-hand side behind me. And I've dived across under his wheel just to get a little bit of cover for, this, for the final few meters. Now, albeit it's a little bit too late, you can see I at least got half a wheel around to his side. But what I'm saying, the point is, is that, and we'll just reverse this right back up now. The point I'm making is in this last 100 meters, you should constantly be thinking about cover, about drafting people's wheels all the way to the finish and make sure that you leave your sprint to the very last minute. So you should be coming, especially into a headwind sprint, you should be coming off their wheel very, very last minute. This is the real time. You can see Mark Lambert just shoots down the far left-hand side there in the green and black kit. He's an absolutely awesome little sprinter. All right, so let's forget about my sprint for a second. Let's judge the two guys, the guy who jumped and the guy in the black shorts, blue shirt that jumped on his wheel. Okay, we'll stop it here. So we're gonna judge these two guys here. Now, you can see the Phoenix guy on the front kicks first. He leads it out, which it was pretty good timing, actually. Um, probably a little bit too early, if anything, but, you know, it's neither here nor there. But the, what was, I found interesting was the guy in the black shorts uh, with the green sort of colored jersey. Um, he followed the Phoenix guy for a little while, but you see here, if we start it again, he comes off his wheel way too early, I reckon. I reckon he could have followed him for a few more meters and then kicked. 
um, just to launch himself a little bit, just a little bit later. Um, you know, that's sort of nitpicking a little bit, but it's worthwhile mentioning in this sprinting tips video because, as I said, into a headwind, definitely worthwhile waiting a little bit longer. In the end, they ended up doing a drag race. So they were just side by side sprinting into a headwind, which is not ideal. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Little recap, make sure you don't get caught in the middle of the bunch coming into the sprint. The professionals tend to string out the bunch really, really at high speed, 70K an hour. So they tend not to have that problem in professional cycling. But in club racing, you know, a whole bunch can go to a finish and they're all bunched together really slow, 40Ks an hour coming into the finish. So it's really important that you guys don't get caught in the middle of that bunch and try to stay on the outskirts so you don't get too stuck if you're gonna have a sprint. Uh, the other thing would be to make sure you leave it to the very last minute. Leave your sprint to the last minute, particularly into a headwind. Uh, if it's a very, very strong tailwind sprint, then you want to be the you want to be first wheel through the final turn, especially at places like uh, St Kilda or uh, Glenvale. It's a very short stretch from the final bend up to the finish. You want to be first, second wheel into a tailwind, but headwind you always want to be a little bit further back and just leave it right to the last minute. And uh, have fun, that is the main thing. Have fun, enjoy it. Make sure you learn something from every bike race. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Chat with you soon.